On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, I try out some Star Wars impressions. <laughs> What's that? Yoda. I learn what a simp is. And I reveal my popcorn conspiracy, which will forever change the world. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome <laughs> to Mummy's Boy. With me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and miserly... Oh, for heaven's sake. I don't know that word. Miserly. Miserly. What does that mean? <laughs> mean. Mean. Miserly. Oh. That's not very Who nice. Put that there? My adorable and mis ma magnificent mother is what I meant to say. That's Sorry. Me. Typo. Yes. Thank you. Say hi, mum. Hello. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. Mm. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head behind. Or around. around. <laughs> so I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Or around. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age. Good. But I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or a story that you're desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum. Can we talk? Aye, uh, we can. So lovely. Welcome and welcome back, welcome. darling Lisa. Bienvenue. Welcome. How have you That's been? Nice. In this fine week. This fine, this fine week, week. I have been. Deeply average. 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 Pascal Sauvage. Do you know that movie? Pascal Sauvage. Sauvage. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> he <laughs> was... <laughs> Sorry? <Any> clues. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan <laughs> Atkinson. Yes. In... In... Um, I am going to make Britain into the biggest <laughs> prison. Oh, God, yes. Um... um uh, it's when he hang he slot, he, yeah, he swings he knows it. Come on. across the thing. I Damn don't know it, what boff. it's called. Who? Damn it, boff. 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 You're in the wrong building, boff. I don't know that bit. I, I don't know what it's called. Uh, you don't know what it's it? Bond, but a spoof Bond. Jo Johnny English. English. Nice. With Natalie Imbruglia. Mm. Oh, she was in it. Yeah, quite She was. She her. was in Neighbours. Mm. Well, well done. You get a point. Hurrah! Hell, well done. Hell, 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 hell yeah. well done. Um, right. Anyway, right. What were we talking about? Well, I just asked Don't you know. how you were, and it suddenly got into that. Yeah. Johnny um. English. Now, last week you sabotaged the podcast. I did. Sorry. Um, and taught me things about Pilar Pilates, Pil Pilare, Pilari, Pilari. Yes. Um. Which was really fun. I loved it. I lo had a lovely Did time. Did you? Did yeah, you have a lovely yeah, time? Yeah, Gosh, it was so, I never it was would so have guessed. Great. <laughs> um, so I figured we'd we'd bring it back to really? what the people really want, oh. which is you learning some internet slang. <laughs> oh God. Um, and we're just gonna, you know. You know, we did the orange peel theory last week. You didn't know that, so it's your I time to that. redeem yourself. Oh, <laughs> um, unlikely. So it's just some TikTok phrases and slang. Oh no! Um, and I want you to guess the meaning behind them. Okay. okay. Oh god. Are we ready? No. Almond mum. Almond mum. Yeah, almond mum. Would you like it in a sentence? Yeah, too right. She thinks we're still in the nineties. Such an almond mum. Well, it's obviously a. You know, she's way behind, but mm. why would it be an almond? I mean, it's you're on the right track. Nut. It's quite specific. Nuts. Something mm. to do with nuts. Almonds. Almonds. Big nuts. Big nuts. <laughs> Massive nuts. <laughs> what? 
Where'd you, you get said, that from? Because that's what you said. No. Yeah, you did. Any just any guesses? I mean, you were kind of close. It's yeah, just a bit, it's, it's, it's someone quite, it's who's a hard. bit behind the times. Yeah, I mean, it, yes. But I don't know why but it it's would be called almond. An almond mum is a parent who doles out on healthy eating advice and oh. habits to their kids. Oh. One that typically includes forcing a very strict diet on their children in hopes oh. that they will maintain a low weight. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. You're not much of an almond mum. I'm not. No. No, well, I didn't stand a chance. You never ate anything anyway, so, you know, it was... Well, that's your fault, though. Oh, here we go. It, it all goes back. You yeah. Know, I, if you were stricter... Yes, yes, I'd have a, true. Well, I'm fine now, but, you know... You are fine now. It's it's too late. I should be... It's not too you know, late. You, you were too easy on me. It's not the me. reason that you can't you touch your toes. Yeah, I was too easy on yeah, me. Yeah, uh, uh, that's also your uh, fault, uh, definitely. I can't oh, that's touch my, my toes. fault. Yeah. Right, of course. Didn't promote healthy stretching at a young age. <laughs> Didn't become part of my <laughs> habit, my stretching. morning routine. No, that's very true. And my, my posture as well, your fault. Posture, definitely my fault. Because you could have whipped me. Well, I did try. Well, I didn't, Whoa. No, I mean, I didn't try to whip you. I tried to, you know, get you to sit up straight. Watch me whip. Watch Sorry. me nay nay. Do you know that? No, don't be no? silly. Dance What's... move? The whip. No. Yeah. Is that Gangnam style? No. <laughs> Gangnam. <laughs> Gangnam. 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 Mm. Yes. Whip. What do you think the whip dance move is? Just if you could guess. Well, obviously, uh, one of those things. It's close. Yeah. That's what it is. Oh, that. What do you mean? Whip. You sort of step, step on your left foot. Uh... Step on your left? Yeah. Oh, and then okay. the nae nae. I know it's a horse. Obviously, it's a horse. Yeah. Was it a gallopy thing? No, it's got nothing no. to do with horses, you idiot. It's got, oh. <laughs> oh, well. Nae nae. What's that then? Nae nae. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There's a lot of people doing that. Yeah, they're about four years thing. old. Yeah, it's just dark. They're just doing that. It's just like hands yeah. up. Is it? That's, <laughs> no, that's that a new quite thing. A, well, I don't hands know. up in the air. It's just sort of what no, you do. It wasn't happy, just yeah. hands up in the. No, but it was more than that. Yeah, all right. But yeah, That's okay. normal, isn't it? I don't know what's normal. Let, let people enjoy themselves. God. Yeah, I'm very happy. Right. Mm -hmm. Number two here. Yes. Goblin mode. <laughs> goblin mode. What's wrong with you? Looks like you're going goblin mode. Bro went goblin mode. Oh, miserable like an old goblin, <laughs> like that. Like what, sorry? <laughs> wow, it's crazy. Your eyes just go completely there. <laughs> Is that good? It's quite good. Really good. Is that goblin mode? Physicality. Thanks. I mean, yeah, to be fair. <laughs> a type of behavior which is unapologetically self-indulgent, lazy, s slovenly. 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 God. You're not very good on your vocab today. Or greedy, typically in a way that rejects social norms or expectations. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Mm. I think I got that right. I think you did. I think you're pretty much two for two, really. Doing well. Yeah. She's on, you're going goblin mode. Am I? No. No. No, you're not. No. You're going, you're going, there is a, there is a mode that I just can't think of it. Is there? Super you're brilliant going, mode. You're going. Oh, Goat mode. It? Demon mode or something like that. or some, Demon some, mode. Oh, I can't think. Right. Doom scrolling. Uh, that's scrolling through things like Twitter, which is all it's full of is bloody doom, doom and, and gloom, gloom and, and mongering. Mongering. So it's, all, it's like every single thing that you come up with is some dreadful political story from somewhere or mm. what they've done now to make oh, our lives I even know. worse. Bloody, bloody, bloody bastards. Hate them all. Bastards. Um, oh, fuck them. You said you it. are right as well. Am I? Oh, wow, yeah. Oh it's my not god! Fun you when see? she gets them right. No. Oh, sorry, dude. Stop doom scrolling. It's only going to make you feel worse. That's very doom true. Doom scrolling or doom surfing is the act of spending an excessive amount of time reading large quantities of negative news online. Yes, and most Do of it is negative. Yes. At the moment, is it? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, it is. Yeah, but there are the occasional cat videos still. Thank good. God. Yeah. Thank God for cats. Thank God for cats. That feels like that should be in your house. One Thank those, God like, for live, cats. Laugh, love things. <laughs> yes. Oh, I hate those what things. What would I do without my cat? Oh. Wow. Okay. That, you, you smashed that quite annoyingly. 
Oh, sorry. Three for three. Bro's gone demon mode. That was me. Now time for some for some slang. Oh. On fleek. On the fleek. On fleek. On fleek. French. Oh. On fleek. On fleek. No, on fleek. How do you spell fleek? F L E E K. Oh, proper fleek. Girl, your brows are on fleek today. <laughs> uh, they're looking um, flicky. Flicky? Yeah. Fleek, meaning. Mm. No, sort of like, um, what else? Outfit, outfit on fleek. Oh, on, on point. Fleek. Yeah, on point, I think is pretty. On point? Yeah. On fleek. On fleek. I quite like Perfectly that. Perfectly done. Exactly right. Excellent. If your brows are on fleek, your life is on fleek. That's just the way it goes. Oh, sneeze. Oh, sneeze. I want you to Give sneeze. Give the boys some pepper. Um, There's pepper in the pots behind you. That would be really funny if you <sighs> sniffed that and it actually made you sneeze. That would make me laugh. Smelling salts as well. Which brings me on to the third, the second, whatever we are. Salty. Salty? Yeah. I don't think this is in it. You should know this, right? Salty. Don't stop being so salty about it. Salty? No. No. Oh. Stop being so salty about it. Bruh. 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 Stop being so salty. You're being very salty right now. Am I? Um. Dude, what? why are you being so salty about it? All I did was... Oh, are you being... Fuck your sister. Oh. Dude. Stop being so salty about it. All I did was use your mug and my coffee. So you're uh, you're overdoing your um, response. You're being all arsy about something that you don't need to be arsy about. Yeah. I am so... My yeah. life is on fleek right now. Yeah, in bitter behavior. If someone's being salty, they are probably okay. upset about something of small importance. Oh, okay. Yeah, got you. Wow. You're on fire. I am. Chuggy. Chuggy? Why are you still wearing those skinny jeans? They're so chuggy. Out of fashion. Out of date. Yes. Chuggy? I've not heard word. that. That might be below the generation below me. What is the generation below me? Alpha. Is that right? What is generation it? Alpha. Are they? Something like that. Oh, I don't know. But it feels weird. It feels like they're all alphas. But they're all little shits. <laughs> Chuggy bro. Chuggy bro. A bit I like did. calling someone a granddad slash grandma. Oh, I see. Cap. Cap? Cap. Something you wear on your head? No. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Well, it is. Yo, that's Cap. I didn't lose the keys. <laughs> That's cap. I didn't lose the keys. Yeah. You're capping, bruh. That's the tops. The what? Well, I'm just thinking of putting something on your head. You're capping, bruh. That's cap. Uh, I don't know. Pass. Pass? Yes. Can I pass? No, you can't oh. pass. Oh, damn. That's... Um, that's cap. That's fortunate. No. Oh. That... Give me another sentence. Uh, that was a useless sentence. No cap, you're killing it right now. No cap, that outfit is wicked. No shit. No. Oh. I'm not even capping. Joking. Donald Trump. Donald? Donald Trump is probably going to win the next election. <gasps> no cap. Joking. No cap shit. Is Same. slang for lie. Lo well, though the I phrase, said that. No, cap, no, you didn't. You never said the word lie. No, I didn't. You but didn't. I said the same no, thing. No, you got one wrong. You I suck. I did not. I do not. You I suck. said. You are I capping right now. You're literally capping right now. I said no You are shit, capping right which now. Which is the same thing as saying Dude, stop no capping. Lie. Stop the cap. You big capper. <laughs> Simp. Simp? Give me a sentence. Dude, quit being such a simp. Stop being such a wuss. It's not quite wuss, actually. Like, no, in fact, no, it's not. Oh, I'm it's not going to give you that, no. Okay, well, let me clarify like, then. Simp, Wait, stop being such a simp for that girl. 
don't be so um, simpering. It's all about being simpering. What's another word for simpering? Isn't it? Don't laugh. It's it's um, wet. You know it's like? Wet. Wet. Mm, yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah, sort mm. of all pal pappy, sappy, sappy. Mm. That's a good word. Sort of like I don't know. I can't really say that actually. Oh, can't you? <laughs> you're being a bit wet. Yeah, you're being a bit wet. Yeah. Even like you know, like when you're being cute with your mum, that's a bit. You're being a bit yes. of a simp. You know. No. Oh. Yeah, but hey. Being a simp. I think it has to be said, I'm doing rather well. You are. You are. You're you're this shit is bussing. Is it? Yeah. Yes. What does bussing mean? I don't know, but it's going awfully well. Bussing. That bussin. shit was bussing. Yeah, that ass is bussing. Oh. What? <laughs> it's going yeah. It, it's Oh, that tea is bussing. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. A word used to describe food that is remarkably delicious. Oh, it's to it's describe food. You described ass as food there, Jack. Yeah, interesting. Mm. Um, I think you might know this one already as well. Oh. Delulu. Delulu? Well, it's got to be bonkers. You're Delulu, yeah. Yeah, Delulu. Delusional. Yeah. And has unrealistic expectations. Oh, okay. Is Delulu an I just said slang? Doolally. Doolally. Finally, Gat. Gyat. Yeah. Gyat. Gyat, man. Gyat. What's that? Shoddy thick as fuck. I have gyat something in my eye. I've got something in my eye. Gyat. It's got a few meanings, this. Oh, has it? Yeah. How would you spell it? G-Y-A-T. G-Y-A-T. That's a ridiculous word. It's a short form of saying goddamn. Oh. Usually in reference to someone's physical attractiveness. Oh, is it? So if I saw someone Giat. with a nice bunda walk past, yes. I'd be like, I've got something in my eye. Because it's like... Oh, would you? You wouldn't say, get, look at that bus in bunda. No, no, no. No, no you that's wouldn't. too much. That's too much. Yeah, too much. Oh, I'm no good at this slang, putting it all no, together. No, you are, you are. I think you got I know lots of them, but I don't think them, I'll be able to remember them. No. I like Fleek the best. Fleek? I'm surprised at no Fleek. Fleek's quite an old one. Is it? I like Fleek. Fleek on Fleek. On Fleek yeah. makes it even better. Fleeky. I feel like it's not... It's, Fleek sort of had its moment. Not. Oh. It's sort of not cool. It's, it's sort of like I swag. Like it. No one says swag anymore. Swag? It was in the same era as that. Oh, was it? It's mummy's boy. Are we ready for the, the game of the, 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 the nation? Two the game lies of the and the nation. Truth. Yes. Yes. Right. The question is. Yes. TikToker Maddie Hart asked her followers to share a story about a piece Go on. of trauma in their lives that is mm. legitimately funny. Oh. In providing an example, Maddie told the story of why her dad in his late 50s decided to leave his entire family. Oh dear. Was it to A, pursue a career in breakdancing? <laughs> B, follow the path of the Jedi and join a Star Wars cult? Oh. C, train as a spiritual healer for dogs? <laughs> they're brilliant answers. All very valid, I think. Oh, they're brilliant answers. For leaving your entire family. For leaving your entire family. Yeah. So he did actually leave this family. He, le this yeah, girl. he left like... I think for they had one like of three these kids ridiculous and wives and like never saw them again. Oh my from what God. I can remember from the video. The occasional birthday text, which I think was always on the wrong day, I think, or something like that. Oh my God, yeah. what a louse. Or was it the right thing to do? You had the David Goggins mindset. Oh, back to David Leave Goggins. Leave everyone behind, just do what you want to do. Blimey. Get that working. Wait, okay. whale, whale. Well, whale, we're whale, gonna whale, find whale. the answer in the second part of the podcast. Mm. Do you want us in for part two where we'll find out the answer for Mum Can We Talk? Oh, gosh. Correspondence. Correspondence. Hit the sting. It's Mummy's Boy. Welcome back. Very shortly, we'll be getting <laughs> to Mum Can We Talk? Correspondence. Hooray! But first, before the break, I asked you, oh, Mother, God, Lisa Hill, troubling. the goat, Lisa Hull, 
TikToker Maddie Hart recently asked her followers to, uh, to share a story about a piece of trauma in their lives that is legitimately funny. In providing an example, Maddie told the story of why her dad in his late 50s decided to leave his entire family. Was it to A, pursue a career in break dancing? B, follow the path of the Jedi and join a Star Wars cult? C, train as a spiritual healer for dogs? Um, okay. Well, I think it's really sad. It's very sad, but quite funny. No, it's not funny that he left them at all. Well, it is. All, but all of these all are quite the, funny all reasons. All the three reasons are... What was the first one? <laughs> Pursue oh, break a career dancing. in breakdancing. I don't think it's that. No. That would be ridiculous. Um, spiritual healer for dogs, sadly, could be true because mm. people do that sort of thing these days. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well. Ridiculous. I love the idea of him joining a, a Jedi cult. <laughs> you reckon? You're going to go for but the... I don't know. No, wait. You're going to go for the, the fictional one, are you? I'm going for a question. Yeah. Is Maddie Hart English or American? American, I believe. She could be Canadian. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm going for the Jedi cult. You're going for the Jedi one. <laughs> That's, I really that, want it to be true. Yeah. The, you know, it, Star Wars isn't real. Well, yeah, but they think it is, don't right. they, a lot of these people? Do they? You think they think that Star Wars <laughs> is real? No, I don't think they think it's real, but I think they just love the idea of it and mm. they just, oh God. Now, well, now, so now Come you're telling me I've got me, it wrong. You will. That was my Yoda. That was terrible. Come join me, you will. What Come, was that? Come <laughs> join me. My Yoda, so bad. Come. Come join me, you will. Lisa, your answer is. <laughs> well, my answer was you're, going. You're, you're B. You were B. You can't backtrack. Yeah, no, I can't backtrack now. But now I really wish um, I was going to backtrack and I think it's something else but so the I've answer is a what to pursue a career in break dancing <laughs> you're joking comedian actor and influencer maddie hart posting on tiktok oh. as maddie hart soccer that's confusing I wrote a video about her funny trauma recently saying my dad abandoned my family when i was five years old which was a, which was a wife and four kids <gasps> to pursue amateur break dancing and he got really good Amateur break dancing. Maddie posted, he said, she said, Maddie posted, she said, he became the oldest actively competing break dancer in the world. And then he got on Good Morning America oh, talk shows him. and danced with Paula Abdul. Oh, lucky. But she boy. goes on to say, this guy wouldn't pay my medical bills. There was no split custody or anything. He just left four kids to do that. Bastard. And after seeing some of the heat he was getting, Ben decided to post a video to give his own side of the story. In his video, Ben, who was wearing a black T-shirt with the Bitcoin logo emblazoned in gold, <laughs> said about not paying medical bills, that's just not correct. In all, I paid about $5 million to my ex-wife, Maddie's mum, to cover costs for her and the kids. I'm not a deadbeat dad at all. I took up break Ooh. dancing entirely by accident in 2012 as a way to get in shape at the age of 54, and then I just kept doing it. Oh. Wow. Well, so who do we believe? I believe him. Oh, well, of course you do. Yeah. She just did it probably for TikTok clout. I'm on Ben's side. Are you? Because I have the breakdancing pact. All breakdancers must stick together. Bro okay. Because we pop and lock for life. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you say so. What well, niche that's skill weird. would you leave us for? I wouldn't leave you for anything. But if Arthur. you if you if you if you did, come on. I'd probably just be singing, wouldn't it? I think it would probably be like sheep farming in in scotland or right. something like that fair just saying goodbye to the world and just living mm. with animals you do love a bit of scotland don't you i do you meant to go and you didn't go i'm going next week nice where about are you going i'm going up glencore i don't know where that is ben but... nevis oh you're going up you're, you're walking up it, are you? well that has been mooted blimey it's yeah. unlikely, to be fair. Yeah. I didn't say. Daddy might go up and Pretty I might big. sit in the bar. Pretty big. It is quite big. Mm. But apparently it is possible. Yeah, I mean, you can, probably not you can for touch me. your toes. So. I can touch my toes, so maybe yeah. I can climb Ben Nevis. Mm. Mm. That'll get jealous. No, he'll do it. Oh, I doesn't want you climbing up Ben, does he? Don't be silly. Sorry. Won't happen again. No. But anyway, Mum. Yes. Can we talk? Yes, let's. Shall we dive in? Shall we? To the favourite section of all. Yeah. From Holly. Holly! 
Hello, Arthur and Lisa. Hello. I love the podcast and have got my mum to now listen also. Oh, hello. Hi, Lorraine. <gasps> Lorraine. Hi, Lorraine. What if it's Lorraine Kelly? Oh, it's unlikely. I don't know. How well, many Lorraines can there be? Oh, quite a few. My question for you is to who out of the two of you would either hide or keep the best snacks for themselves or blame someone else for eating them in your house? My brother, aged nine, puts his chocolates in the fridge because he knows that no one in the house likes cold chocolate. Sensible. So I just lift it out and let it go room temperature before oh. I eat it. Oh, love Holly from Belfast. From Belfast. Belfast. Mm, There's a bit of a war going on in our house about popcorn. Is there? Because I, I love popcorn and I've never met anyone who likes it more than me, but Chris loves popcorn. Does he? And I keep so just having it. it. I keep having it. What, you keep nicking his? Yeah. That's yeah. not good. No. No, well, you must make sure that you replace yeah. it. No, so I do, I do. But like, yeah, it becomes confusing whose is who. Well. Because he's more of a sweet and salty guy. Right. But I'm salty. But now since I've been started having salty, he's getting back on the salty train. It's well, very political. You need to get a little sharpie and mm. write on your packets. Have a weird theory about sweet and salty popcorn. Come on then. Because it just arrived out of nowhere. Did it? One day, there was it was separate. It was like a met, it was like the you know. <laughs> yes, you are. And then, one, or and then one day, someone just decided to do just it, said, and since then, the world has gone to shit. It was like this right. sort of unspoken thing. It's like, well, if you can mix popcorn, sweet and salty together, there are no fucking rules. Right? Do you know what I mean? Well, like they're the opposite, and you can't put them together. Can't you? And then it, when that happened. I felt everything like it was around like 2013, I think, or something. And then was it? think about everything has gone worse since then. And it's all down to popcorn. I think the popcorn sweet and salty mixing was the start of it all. Because it just... Do you? Yeah. I wonder if they discuss things like that at the UN. I think they've had a a meeting about it. Do you think they have? Mm. Yeah. Maybe mm. Donald Trump was there. Oh, he definitely no, has something. I can't no, do no. The again. <laughs> I need to work on my Joe Biden. Was that supposed to be yeah, him? Yeah, I don't know how he talks. I don't no, know. I don't he know. Just sort of well, he just stays. sort of mumbles, doesn't he? Uh, He's the, too old the, to the talk. The, the sweet and the solid. Um, <laughs> more of a Dorito man myself. No, that sounded no. Trumpian. That wasn't really an answer to the so, question. Well, no, you gave an answer. Yeah. I didn't, because well, it's different in our house. Cause I also firmly agree with the cold chocolate, by the way. Oh, I don't like cold chocolate. No, nothing it's too is hard. good. It I hurts. argue that nothing is good room temperature, really. Oh, no, you're you know? wrong. No, yeah, I'm not. Cheese? Because, no, no. Uh, yeah, I'd rather it be cold. No, don't I think. be silly. No, really not. No, okay, wouldn't. cheese. No, no. no. Then even when you have, like, <laughs> when you make a sandwich. Yes. Obviously, the bread is room temperature, but then it's either cold butter or something. You know, you'd rather. I just think everything's better cold or hot. Digestives in the fridge, yes. What? Yeah, it it just makes it like refreshing. Does it? Yeah, so it just adds a level, you know. Well, I think you're mad. Well, I think. No, I don't like cold chocolate. I mm. actually really don't like cold chocolate. You know what I have done that recently that makes me think that I'm getting old because you do it all the time. Oh, is thanks. I'm, I guess because I'm trying to eat healthier, that I'm, I'm bloody loving my sort of late night dark chocolate. Ah, oh, a little square of dark chocolate. The, the, the like lint, the, is lint? It lint, the cho orange crunch. Have you had that? Oh, oh, it's really God, nice. It's it is nice. But that's actually not very dark. It's is about it 65%. You uh, need to be 85 and up, what, really. For, for what? If you be, want proper not, dark chocolate, if you want it to be actually sort of not so bad still, for oh, you. Oh, it's still bad for me, is it? Yeah. Afraid so. Shit. Sauce. Going Sorry. through a pack a week at the moment. Oh, I could eat a pack of that at night mm -hmm. with the orange in it. I treat Bloody myself to lovely. a couple of squares every night, you know? Thinking, well, I, was, I, thinking I was being healthy. Fuck it's sake. definitely not healthy. What can I fucking eat? God damn but it. But no, it's okay. God you, damn no, it. No, you can I can't have do it anymore. Oh, you can do I it. I can't have dark chocolate orange. Are you kidding? Well, you can. Just don't kid yourself that it's oh, really healthy. I had a McDonald's last night as well. Oh, grossness. Why? Because yeah. I was, I don't know why. I was knackered. Well, that's and not going to make you feel any better, in the is house. It? I didn't want to leave the house because it was raining. 
Oh. I just thought, I haven't had one all year. I'm just going to have the nuggets. I miss the nuggets so much. Oh, my God. I, you didn't even have a I had burger. A 20, I had a 20 share box to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I had 20 nuggets. in my gob. Oh. I felt so guilty. I, I did some hard cardio this morning. Burnt it did off. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the nuggets are gone. I'm they glad. They had no effect. No. They were just enjoyed. Enjoyed and, and sweated out afterwards. Right, lovely. Thank you for sharing. Um, right, question two from Lee. Lee. Hi, Lee, sir. Hurrah. If Arthur ever got arrested, what oh. do you think it would be for? Oh, no. I think if Arthur ever got arrested, it would be for something very silly, like um, driving up a one-way street or up the wrong... Been there, done that. Or up the wrong side of a motorway, or or cycling in a would I do that? thing that he wouldn't that he's not meant to be cycling in, or something. I don't. I would like to think that Arthur would never get involved in a fight. I think it's highly unlikely that he would get involved no. in such yeah. a thing. Um, I'd be rubbish at the moment. He's so injured. Not, well, that's Still not the so point, is it? Injured. The point is that you. But wouldn't... my fighting knowledge is incredible. <sighs> what do you mean you're fighting? Black belt. Karate. No, it is not. Kung Fu, Jiu Jitsu. Do you remember when I tried to get you to go to... Try to get me. I was very keen to go to karate. Karate. Or after watching the Karate mean? Kid. Tried to... What do you mean you were very keen? I literally bloody dragged you no, there. No, I wanted to do it after I watched the yes, movie with Jackie Yes, you did. And then you got there and you were all quiet and Oh, I'm pathetic. sorry for being shy. Well, no, like but you wouldn't years get... Old. You would not join in and I... I Tried my hardest to get in again. You're yeah, saying, I, I didn't want to hurt the other me. kids, it would have been unfair. Oh, yeah, that's what it what was. Do? Yeah, but you were um, really keen. I was keen on that idea, but anyway, I thought um, it sort of disbanded, didn't it? I got like a couple belts and then it stopped, and I didn't want to go to a bigger class. Oh, was that what it was? Maybe I've been anxious for longer than I thought. Maybe you have, mm. anyway. So, you have to commit one crime, right. I have to. You have to commit a crime. Right. And if you commit it, it will never be done again in the world. Oh, my God. What crime would you pick? Oh. So, obviously, if, if you murder, you have to kill someone. But then no one will ever murder again. Well, you'd have to find someone who didn't mind being murdered, mm. wouldn't you? But I don't, think, I don't think I'd do murder. I don't know what I'd do. Because sometimes murder it can be a bit justified. Can it? Can it? Well, yeah, not not legally, but you know, there's some real pricks in the world. Aren't well, there? there are. Yeah, but if, but it seems to me that you're if you're posing that question, you probably don't get a choice in who you murder. You just somebody just gets put in front of you, and you have to kill them. So that might be a mm. bit tricksy. If you knew their backstory and you knew they were not a prick, then you could kill them quite happily. Well, not happily, but mm. I think I could shoot someone. You think you could shoot someone? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I could stab anyone. No. That feels too close. Although I do like stabbing the cardboard boxes when they come. Do you? My HelloFresh box. I love just going like, Gah! Do you? And ripping it open. Do you? So I'm maybe sure if it like had like blood spurting out, I'd really like it. I don't know. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Arthur, you know, don't. No, it'd be horrible. No, be Arthur. Horrible. No. Strangle someone? Could you do no, that? I no, I don't think I could. Again, it's too close. Mm. You know, you've actually got to get your hands on, haven't you? If you're doing mm. those things, whereas if you're just shooting someone, it's like it's something else that's doing it. Mm. If that makes sense, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, there was a smart answer for this that I saw. Whereas I'd, oh, I'd lie in court. Oh, because that's illegal, isn't it? So then no one else would lie in court. Oh, that is a smart mm. answer. Why didn't I think of that? Because you're not very smart. I'm not very smart. <laughs> there Fair you enough. go. Much to think about. Yes, mm. for the bastions of tomorrow. Oh, yes. Question three. Yes. The final one. Mm. From Amy. Hello, Arthur and Mummy Hill. Hello. I've just entered a new relationship and been seeing this boy for about four months now, but he still follows his ex on social media and <laughs> claims it's because he wants to see pictures of the dogs he once owned <laughs> with her. <laughs> Is this a red flag or am I in the wrong for thinking he ought to unfollow her from social media? Please help. Oh, oh. that's a hard one. Modern relationships are so bloody tricky, aren't they? God, you had it lucky. Who it's did? just you did. Did I? Yeah, because well, you about all yeah, this I think you're bollocks. right. We didn't it's have all this ridiculous. nonsense. I mean, I mean, 
he might he might be because I don't you know, I, you he don't might know. be very keen on yeah. his on his dogs his ex dogs. I get that. I, I exactly I get that, but also like, I would be worried if I was Amy. Would you? Yeah, I don't know. It's just like yeah. You, I mean, it depends how well they ended it. You know, it depends but how cute it, the dogs are. Yeah, if you like, you should you should see you should go on her Instagram and see if he's liking pictures of her without the dogs in. Oh. And if he is, let the dogs out. Who? 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 Let the dogs, dogs out. Who? 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 Isn't there an extra? No. Ooh. No. Have I, I done too many who's? Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 I feel the there should be another out. who in there. Who? 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 <laughs> no, you're definitely. That's definitely. I got it right. I think. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you did, darling. Um, I feel it. It's wasn't. a tricky one. It's a tricky one. And again, it all dep- it depends on age. Uh, again, like, I'm and afraid. also like you know, like he's probably got plenty of pictures of the dogs. Yes, well, actually, that's ones? a good point. Why does he have to go scrolling through? Um, actually, yeah, tell him. Tell him to stop looking. But should or... he unfollow her? This is the thing. I, I, don't, I don't know if you should unfollow. Well, it all, it no, all I don't depends think you on how these it's, things yeah. ended, doesn't it? And, you know, oh, dear. You're four months in. Oh, it's a tricky one. I think I'm leaning towards the fact that it's fine. Are you? I think I am. Oh, you see, you've convinced me to go the other yeah, way completely. I, know, but I think following her's fine. You can't ask him to unfollow her. Why not? Because <laughs> it's just like they could have ended it nicely, and they could just still be friends. Yeah. But if it's un if it's uncomfortable for him, then you sh- he should unfollow her. He should do what his new partner desires. Wants. But is that toxic that he has to follow? God, there's this is yeah, too much. Too much. Too much. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. What a day. What a day. What a day. What a day. Um, thank you for your questions. Always remember. Oh. Listen and watch oh, I do. new episodes every Wednesday. Right here <laughs> on no. <laughs> and if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or I'm not going to look again or story <gasps> that you are desperate for mum to read send us a D at slide in the DMs on socials at mummy's boy pod or even send us a message or a voice note on O <laughs> on O seven eight double two O one three eight three seven and no matter what <laughs> the issue <laughs> I will ask her. And we will endeavour to give we you an will. answer. Although I feel like today we're a bit 50-50. Yeah, we've been a bit vague. Bring a back the weird vague. sexual ones, guys. Come on. Yeah, we need the sex well, back. Yeah. And the shit and the poo and all that. <laughs> and the vomit. I miss it all now. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. back, back. back. What's that song? We did it in the yellow dance. Bring it back, back baby. Bring it back, back. You know the who one let I mean? the dogs out? Who? 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 No, you no, see, yeah, I've got one yeah. extra. Wrong. No. Bring it back. Bring it back, baby, tonight. No, no. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. Back, back. I want you back. No. I want you back, back for good. good. It wasn't that. We'll be back. Yeah. For good. Hurrah. Bye-bye. Bye. It's mommy's boy.